Damn. Damn, the demon's inside her? Yo, the visuals, oh my god. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy you done did it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me, it's like a solar eclipse. Uh -uh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leon. I'm some coolest South African geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into DC Stargirl. Episode 2 is called Summer School Chapter 2. I'm excited to see this one because the previous episode we ended with a brawl between Courtney and uh, Green Lantern's daughter. So I want to see the ramification of that situation because Courtney still ain't listening. She still ain't putting down the staff for at least two weeks. They told her to stop. But nope. Did she listen? Nope. Uh, man, I'm really enjoying the show, even though the previous episode was hella slow because of the high school stuff. So I wanted to kick up, you know what I'm saying? Let's see the threats outside the whole flashback of the demon kid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The threat still being teased and I want it here already. That's my only problem with it right now. But it's like 7 a.m. right now. Let's, let me stop talking and dive right into this. Stargirl. Yeah. Is this the woman that was pretending to be her mother? Sydney, that is. She feels so free. She don't know that she back. That's wasting food, woman. Damn. She was about to dip. <laughs> what does it do to them? Is she under her control now? Six days ago. Is this Green Lantern's daughter? Did she age out? Damn, she aged out. It's the ring. Yo, so she just turned 18, did the kick I out? No <laughs> Goddamn. What advice is that? Wait, she's a foster kid? Just a normal foster kid? How did she have those moves from the previous episode? She was fighting, fighting. Damn. So she followed the ring to Courtney's house? Green Lantern's might. No evil shall escape by sight. They don't have the budget to fully dress her up. Courtney did most of the damage. <laughs> She's a super fan. You got a new home. Congratulations. She doesn't speak like an 18 year old. Are they going to share a room? She envious of the family. Did they kick Courtney out of her room? What's happening? She has a brother? What is happening? Damn, they legit made her sleep on the couch. She has a lot of information that a normal human being wouldn't have. Goddamn, she's trying to bring problems where they aren't any. Her storyline is Peter Parker's storyline in Spider-Man Homecoming. <laughs> it just dawned on me. <laughs> this dog is cute. Damn, they're having breakfast without her now. Damn, my family's talking a lot in these voiceovers off screen. Scratch what I said in the beginning of the episode. Her being too nice is kind of annoying. She already forgot about summer school. She got summer school too? Damn, her parents are assholes. What's with Isaac? Green Llama. He's still feeding Grandi. Where is he getting the money to buy Grandi all this food? He's even picking up litter. He's such a good boy. You know who it is, man. Trying to make Grandi menacing. We know the storyline is leading to them being best friends. Flamethrower. Dude is done working for the day. It wasn't charged. Ring is broken. Is she actually gonna do it? She making a small car? She made a small car! So many kids are in summer school, goddamn. <laughs> She's jealous? How bomb are these pancakes? Cleaning up your mess. The demon's back. Who's this? The budget for the show though, I gotta give it up. For it to be on, Dis on CW? Blue Valley, two miles away. Is this the shadow dude that we're teasing last season? 
He's like, oh, all my friends are dead. I guess I gotta do it myself. It's pulling a Thanos. Richard Swift. He's looking for artifacts. Is she suspicious? I'll be in touch. This dude is acting his ass off though. <laughs> is she gonna Google him? The car is a bit bigger. She's diagnosing you. So Courtney's the asshole of the vid of the season. What's the demon doing to her? Damn. Why would Sydney affect her with this demon when the demon wants her dead? She's jealous. Uh, she was internalizing not being a legacy kid. Wait until Starman shows up. I wonder how you'll feel then. You guys are so similar. I'm sorry, it got some pacing problems. Still a great episode. Pacing? Not it. I wonder how this show's gonna have the budget to make her go full power. What is happening? Tell me they don't see the lantern reacting that way. What does she do? Don't we have like technology now where you can Google search people? <laughs> this how Stripes works? Just put your ring next to the lantern. She's the lantern? That's a change in the old green lantern methods. She doesn't know the oath. I don't think she got it. Does she got it? Yo. Did the lantern blow up? Where's Jenny? She can fly now. Is she gonna fly to the green lantern's planet and learn? To master her skills? I guess not. The story is its own thing. I shouldn't think about other Green Lantern stories. I still got her sleeping on the couch. She has a brother to find. Ooh, the watch is the same. This show has very convenient face messed up in pictures. <laughs> now they have a big villain to deal with. Is he gonna keep it from her? Oh, he's actually honest with her. Shade! Look how excited she is. Is that night again? Time moves differently on this show. Damn. Damn, the demon's inside her? Yo, the visuals, oh my god. Does this demon take your soul when you do something wrong? Like the kids stealing the present. Damn. The VFX budget is crazy high. Still not movie level though. I'm sorry to say this. Damn. Damn. At least we know who the big bad of the season is. That's some power right there. He's making you think like you're in control. You are not in control, girl. Damn, she's ash now. So let's talk about this episode. Another slow burner, maybe they building up to it, I can tell, because uh, the, the Shade storyline is interesting, the Demon storyline with Sydney is interesting, the teen stuff is not that interesting for me, but I'm not saying it sucks, but it's not interesting for me, so when we in those moments, I am having a lot of pacing problems for me, it's like, come on, get to the point, get to the next scene. That's, that's a personal preference, you know what I'm saying? So people don't feel attacked. I don't particularly like teen trauma stuff anymore. Too grown for that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But it was a great episode. I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. Like I said, majority of it was the teen trauma stuff. The... I will say the Jenny Courtney dynamic situation uh, was interesting. Um, Jenny was hella annoying at some points. Her being two nights, being an identity situation. I don't, I don't like that aspect of her. Like she can just be a nice person, not too nice. I feel like she was overdoing it, uh, acting babyish, not like an eighteen-year-old. Like I said, personal preference. But I like the actress. 
she seems to be doing a great job. And also the VFX, they have a lot of great VFX on the show. But it's not movie level, like even now, the Green Lantern scene, when she was floating, she was floating at like a weird position. The keying of the green on her skin looked weird. The hair flowed weirdly. And the whole uh, shape of her light was like the, the shape of the eradicator. And when the eradicator was charging up in Superman and Lois, just green. You know what I'm saying? Like both of those shows have high budgets, but. It's still iffy, you know what I'm saying? It's not over the top. Like, I've seen better. So, I expect better. If the better I've seen was from an old, old movie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, still fantastic show. Just, from a visual standpoint and a movie making standpoint, some stuff I notice more than others. Which makes me go, oh... The king in that scene was not as great. And it's hella convenient that all the city citizens were, went on a very public park to see all that explosion. And that explosion went throughout the whole town, that whole green. Like, visually, that looks cool, but the town not reacting to it makes a plot hole in the storyline, if you feel what I'm saying. But still a phenomenal episode. Like I said, 7 out of 10. It's a slow burn. I know it's going to kick up. I know the show is great. I enjoyed the whole first season. So I know the potential it has. And they still have the same money. So I know they're about to go ham. And like I said, the story is still great. Just the teen drama stuff and the pacing and the keying in some areas are the only thing that make me iffy about the episode. But. Like I said, the Demon storyline and the Shadow storyline are fantastic thus far. The Courtney storyline needs to catch up to what's happening. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. <laughs>